same. From uh, Arthur's analysis, obviously the, the kind of perceived technological future is probably moving towards the cloud. Um, does anyone have any kind of insight as to moving, well, whether there is any movement in corporate IT uh, attitudes towards moving? I mean, we've discussed in some depth the difficulties in securing data within a corporate environment. How do they feel about relinquishing their control to a third party data warehouse? That, that is a kind of recurring theme that I've come up against with, with, with clients discussing systems where cloud is, is potentially a, an excellent solution, mm -hmm. but corporate IT will not accept it. For security reasons. Is there any trends in, in that? Any movements in, well, in their approach? If, if I understand correctly your, your, your question, you're wondering um, if the trend of uh, transition towards cloud is consistent with um, the imperative of being secure. I mean that. Uh, yeah. So I, I mean I'm, I'm sure that Peter can com comment on that. But from my perspective, um, cloud doesn't mean it's more or less secure. It's it, those are completely different things. I think that when you're moving to cloud, you need to adapt your IT security. Um, strategy accordingly just because your data is not stored in the same place so you need to you know the the, the security processes need to change the, the solutions you're using firewalls all of that all, all of that needs to be updated but i i wouldn't say that because you're you have data on the cloud that this data is more likely to be um, um to be hacked just remember one thing uh with the it's not only oil and gas, it's all asset in, in, uh, intensive industry. There was um, a survey last year from US CERT, you know, on the different uh, um, attacks, cyber attacks there, were, there was. And uh, in, more, in more than 90, if I remember correctly, it's like 92% of the incidents. Um, the, the incident comes from inside. You know, it's actually, a, <laughs> it's actually a, a, an employee or a consultant or a partner or, or, or something that does something wrong. And I mean, in this case, you know, whether your, um, your data is on the cloud or it's behind the firewall, you know, on your premises, wh whatever, it makes no difference, you know? So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not sure that cloud I, I, makes it more vulnerable. I think part of what Dave was asking, like, was that he's seeing a lot of resistance from corporate IT yeah. to mm -hmm. adoption. Is yeah. that a... No, no, that's true. That's that. That's definitely true. It's a major inhibitor, but I think it's also um, it has a lot of things. Uh, it, it's related, if I may, uh, to the fact that lots of decision makers do not understand properly what is cloud. I think there is still a lot of confusion between private cloud, public cloud, hybrid cloud. What does it mean? Where is my data? All of that. Uh, oh no, I I heard that a lot also. Uh, um, um, legally, I'm not allowed to have the data out uh, out hosted uh, outside of uh, of my premises, all of that. So there's just a lot of uncertainties at this point. Um, but uh, that I think is changing. I think that more and more people are are considering it because of the cost issue, simply. And, and, I mean, I'm a corporate IT person. Mm. I mean, we are held accountable. Yeah, that's the issue. If we are held accountable and we, it's the data is held in our data center, we know what goes on there, we know, and the, these people report to us. So mm -hmm. that's to do. When it's out there somewhere else, then that can, you know, you're still accountable, but that control is, is uh, lessened. And there's a bit of a free song. <laughs> you know. um, we've, seen, um, we've seen issues uh, like you know, Adobe, for instance, quite recently. And so, how do we how do we feel comfortable that uh, these people are doing things to the standard that we would? We would uh, mm -hmm. I, I think start by asking them. I mean, yeah, well, I, 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 I find yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Well. And I, I find uh, actually, in our experience with a lot of our customers, um, lots of them don't ever ask. Yeah. Um, now, actually, if, you know, when we look at what we do versus what they do with their internal systems, particularly around production allocation, where they might be either running on a spreadsheet or have it on a PC or a server downstairs in the basement. You know, we've got multiple data centers in the UK with you know, rack on Oracle and um, resilience and so on and so firewalls and so on. 
so, so we're a setup that they really wouldn't even consider investing in. But, but so there's a good story to be told, and a story about ISO 27001 and so on. But a lot of people, for reasons that I'm not clear about, don't necessarily ask. But I do think that is you should have the right and expectation that the knowledge you have of your internal processes, you should be able to get an equivalent knowledge of the processes of any of your vendors, whether they're cloud providers or not.